Hey YouTube, here's another update video. Uh, I just threw in some sinking pellets, so the shrimp are all out in this tank. I'd like to show off the cherry shrimp in here before I put some in the new tank. Um, the two tetras my wife has named Lewis and Clark. The snail in there is Sacagawea. Um, other than that, I've just trimmed down the moss and done some cleaning. I let the algae grow, like I've said before, for the snails. Or snail, it's singular. But the shrimp are loving the shrink er, sinking food. So they are all over the front of the tank right now where the filter pushes everything. You can see just how many are here and how bright red they all are. These are just regular cherry shrimp. They're not the Sakura Fire Reds or anything. Uh, the dark substrate really helps them a lot. I have a lot of females here. I know one of them just gave birth a day or two ago. So I'm going to be moving probably six from this tank and six from the five gallon into the, the new fish tank. And I'll be using those to start my colony over there. The substrate's not quite as dark but I'm hoping that they stay pretty dark just because of genetics. Even the males, as you can see, are relatively red. I've taken out the laced red shrimp from this tank for about four generations and sold them. Uh, it's a more humane way of calling than just feeding them to the fish. So I'm really happy with how this population has turned out. There's a juvenile, you can see. There's about 20 or 22 shrimp in here. Uh, I just did a quick count. It looks like I was able to count 19. And that doesn't count any that are possibly hiding in the back of the tank. So I'm going to be okay taking a few from here and putting in the new fish tank once it's all cycled. Alright, thanks for watching.